everyone, I'm back again with another video and for today, I'm going to make a kneaded pencil case and this is actually my school project and I would like to share this with you. So for the next stitch, this is what you call the casting on or the knit stitch. So all you need to do is to wrap it around your thumb like that and you're gonna like make a cross and afterwards just insert the knitting needle and then just pull it over. You will just repeat the same thing and as you can see on my chopstick or knitting needle it has like a stopper so I'm not afraid that it will like slide out of the chopstick or the knitting needle. So instead of buying a knitting needle itself, um, it is okay to use a chopstick like mine because it's also um, very cheap and you can get them from some restos. Now for the knit stitch itself, so all you need to do is to hold your yarn like this, it will help you to control the yarn better but it's up to you and then all you need to do is to insert it per loop then it will look like this after that so get your working yarn and needle then wrap it around or yarn it over and then this is by clockwise so again just pull it through then drag them upwards and after that get the loop under that and then release the loop on the right side of your needle Lastly, for the lock, so all you need to do is to make a 3 knit stitch first. 
Lastly, you will see the last loop right there on the left side of the meeting needle. Then you will simply drag them up and release. So I will use a tweezers so you may see clearly for how it looks. So you will do the same thing on the first two knit stitch. alternation so you will create a knit stitch one knit stitch then pull it upwards dra or drag the um, loop under it and then after you drag them down you will make another knit stitch and then drag them up again This is the final result. I actually love it so much because I literally put so much effort in it. And I really use a black thread so that you know how I sew them. So it will really work. And then this is just so pretty. I'm really proud of it. And I hope you like it as well. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you next week.